Hi, I'm John from Breakwater IT. Just here to give you a bit of a breakdown between the differences between Microsoft Business uh, 365 licensing. There's generally three products, Microsoft Business Basic, Microsoft Business Standard, and Microsoft Business Premium. The Microsoft Business Basic product gives you Outlook, Teams, Word, Excel, OneNote, all of the good Microsoft 365 products that we all love and know. Um, but they're all web-based. You don't get to install any applications on your computer. The Microsoft Business Standard package has exactly all of those products for online and web and everything, but it also gives you the locally installed products. So you can locally install Outlook, you can locally install Teams, Excel, Word on your laptop, up to five devices, and you can put them on your mobile devices too. Then comes the question of what is the key difference between Microsoft Business Standard and Microsoft Business Premium? Well, in Microsoft Business Premium, you get all of those products that are in Microsoft Business Standard, but you also get some security features. And this is why we think it's key that everyone has to have, or should have, Microsoft Business Premium. <clears throat> so two key products, Intune and Azure Information Protection that you get in them. And essentially, without getting too complicated, it allows us to control your data and to ring fence uh, your information within 365 and to stop access. So it's like a barrier around your tenant. Uh, for instance, we can control the applications that people install on their mobile. So you can ensure that people can only access your data if they use the actually Outlook or Teams um, or Word apps on their mobile. And within them, you can control policy. So you can enforce uh, pins, you can enforce encryption and you can ensure that you can just remove your data from that device without affecting that device uh, if you need to, if someone should leave your organization or you no longer wish that they have access to your data. It also allows us to set up conditional access policies where we can say, if you're in the office, um, you don't necessarily need to use MFA, you're okay, that's good. Um, we can join your devices, your laptops and your workstations to Microsoft 365 and say only allow log on to your 365 if you're using a, a device that we've installed. So a device that's allowed um, and company owned. So that would stop someone logging on from their home PC or a hacker logging on from wherever they may be, not in your office and not meant to be accessing your data. We can control access by IP address. We can force MFA. Um, we can layer on different policies for each organization. But the key difference here and the key reason why we really need business premium is to ensure that you can keep your organization secure above business standard. You get the normal, in business standard, you get the normal logon, you can apply MFA, but in business premium, you really do need the additional controls and conditional access uh, and app protection policies to keep your business secure. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.